This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an unusual looking puck lock that was sent to me by the folks at Pacific Lock Company, also known as Pack Lock. It's the model UCS 9S puck lock, and there were a few things about the setup that are non-standard. The most obvious, of course, is the cone-shaped top. This is an anti-drill feature. Not only does it add more metal mass, but the angled surface would make it hard to start a drill bit in a particular spot. That makes it hard to target internal components that might be vulnerable to a drill attack, and in fact this does have an internal screw close to the center of this lock that might be an attractive target were it not for the coned face. The second non-standard feature is the use of Packlock's universal cylinder, which is user swappable such that tasks like rekeying and keying alike can be accomplished easily by the consumer. But more interesting to me is the way this core is mounted in the lock. Unlike almost every other one of these locks, the core is oriented in such a way that would make picking exceptionally difficult. That's because the surface to which this would be mounted would get in the way of the lockpick travel. I do have a trick to deal with that, but it does require a specialized tool. I don't know if picking is what they had in mind when they set this up, but it's a great example of how a minor change can have a significant impact on pick resistance. So I'm going to show you how I would pick this, then we'll take it apart and I'll show you what's inside, including a little Easter egg that Packlock left for us. Now the best way I could think of to pick this is to use a leashy tool. That's because I insert it just like a key, and no part of the operation of this tool interferes with the surface on which the lock is mounted. I sell these over on covertinstruments.com. This particular model, the AM5, is currently out of stock, but we have a whole bunch coming in and are currently taking pre-orders on them. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit on this grid so you can see what I'm doing. We use this tab here for tension, and okay, one is a little bit loose, so is two, three, okay, four is binding, little click there. 5 is binding, click there, 6 is binding, click there, and we just dropped into a false set, 1 is binding, little counter rotation, click out of 1, 2 feels set, not sure about 3, let's leave him alone for now, 4 drop down, click there, 5 dropped, so did 6, we have our false set back. One is still set, so is two. Okay, three is binding now. Little counter rotation. I heard some pins drop. Let's see if we can find them. It was not one, two. Okay, four drop down. Click there. Click out of five. Click out of six. And we got this open. Okay, let's take this apart and I will show you what's inside. To get this open, now that it's unlocked, all we have to do is remove this screw on the back of the puck lock. Then to take the core out, we have one more similar screw. Okay, now to release the core, we need to do a couple things. First, remove a little set screw. Then all I should need is a key and the follower. Okay, it looks like all of those key pins are steel, which makes sense if there's an emphasis on drill resistance with the lock. It would make sense to have anti-drill pins in the cylinder. Okay, all of those pins are standard. Okay, we have them arranged. Let's get the driver pins out. I did feel quite a few security pins in there. Number one is a spool. Two is serrated. Three is a spool. 
4 is serrated, 5 is a spool, and 6 is an extra long standard pin. I'm going to drop those springs out. And actually, now that I'm looking at this, I can see that they are not all the same strength. It looks like we have some stronger and some weaker springs. That probably helps with pick resistance. And looking at these pins, I can see the extra long standard pin in slot six is likely to prevent comb picking, something that the master and American lock versions of the puck lock can be vulnerable to. Okay, let's zoom in on this. Okay, as I said, we have all standard key pins and they're made out of steel, likely for drill resistance. Then we have as driver pins, a spool, serrated, spool, serrated, spool, then an extra long standard pin, which guards against probably bump resistance and comb picking. So obviously they did give some thought to pick resistance when they put this together. Okay, folks, that's all I have for you. I need to apologize because I promised to show you the Easter egg that Packlock left for us and I neglected to do so. But better late than never, if we open the lock and take a close look at the side of the core carrier, we can see laser engraved the word master sucks. It would seem that the folks at Packlock love to troll master lock. So that's really all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.